Nu terci. Shalom. I want to start off by giving our praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and I'd like to give double honors due to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, where I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations as of the hopeful effect. And today I just pretty much want to go into this you know, news article by the Washington Post, you know, concerning you know, the so called war between. Ukraine and Russia. So our willingness lesson is edifying straight to the point. And from the video that I showed, this is from Kiev, Ukraine. It says a giant explosion ripped across the Crimea Bridge, a strategic link between mainland Russia and Crimea. It would appear to be a stunning blow early Saturday to a symbol of President Vladimir Putin's ambition to control Ukraine. The damage to the bridge, which provided a road and rail connection between Russia and the Ukrainian peninsula that the Kremlin illegally annexed in 2014, is a setback to Russia's war effort in Ukraine, disrupting crucial supply route, disrupting a crucial supply route and promoting new criticism in public about Putin's handling of the war. Alexander Kotz, a pro-Kremlin correspondent for Komsomlaskia Pravda, urged the country's commanders to emulate Ukraine's war fighting philosophy. Nothing is impossible, he wrote. The Ukrainians show us. While limited vehicle and rail traffic resumed hours after the explosion, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov acknowledged the government had a Slavia. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov acknowledged the government had no timeline for restoring the 12 mile bridge to a fully operational status. The bridge explosion follows weeks of bad news for Russians about Ukrainian military successes, including the liberation of Russian occupied territory even as Putin illegally annexed it in open protest about Putin's mass mobilization, which has prompted thousands of men to hurriedly flee the country. Uh, I was going to read these last two paragraphs. Russia's investigative committee, a top law, Enforcement body said <clears throat> a truck explosion ignited fuel tankers as a freight train crossed the bridge. The cause of the truck blast was not immediately clear. After the explosion, thick plumes of smoke and flames could be seen from a distance while concrete bridge spans hung into the water below. Putin in 2018 personally inaugurated the four Slakia. Putin in 2018 personally inaugurated the four billion dollar bridge, also known as the Kerch Bridge, 
because it spans the Kerch Strait between the Black and Azov Seas. The commissioning of the bridge was intended to symbolize Russia's ownership of Crimea. And yes, you know, this is pretty much leading up to World War III now. They said the cause of the explosion is unclear, but you know, it's all pretty much tying into, you know, World War III. So I'm just going to bring out a couple of scriptures. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 6, and it says, Ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And yes, you know, the end is not yet, you know. There's still certain prophecies that has to happen, you know, that have to take place before, you know, that destruction from World War III <clears throat> can ultimately come and destroy America. Verse 7, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Excuse me, yes, you know. This is what's pretty much taking place, you know, just over there in Europe between Russia and the Ukraine. You know, that's a nation against a nation, but ultimately it's going to trickle down to, you know, mainly here in America, you know, because America is a melting pot, you know, with these different nations of people that are here, but these different nations of people are going to be warring against each other, you know. Because it's the time we're coming into, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble. And I'm going to bring that out. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, and verse 7. And it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And yes, that he is, you know, the elect of the nation of Israel because they're going to be saved out of the troubles that are going to come upon this earth. You know, they're going to be the only ones to be delivered, you know, out of these certain situations that are going to happen. Because, you know, the time that we're coming into is going to be a very, very horrible time, you know, such as there was never a nation, you know, on the earth, you know. I'm going to go to the book of Revelation, chapter 11. And this is verse 14, and it says, The second world was passed, and behold, the third world cometh quickly. And yes, the second world being World War II. Slakia. You know, in that third world. It's like you that third woe is World War Three, you know, the three woes. World War One, World War Two, and World War Three. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 8, and verse 13, and it says, I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the other three angels, which are yet to sound. And yes, those three woes are World War One. World War Two and soon to be World War Three, you know, the three woes, you know, because World War Three is going to be the war to end all wars, you know, because this is the reason why these other nations, you know, America and these other nations have, you know, nuclear missiles, because ultimately, you know, these missiles are going to be shut off in various parts of the earth, but the majority of them are going to hit America because America is Babylon the Great, you know?
This is the book of Revelation, chapter 20. Slide view. The book of Revelation, chapter 20. And I'm going to start it. I'm going to start at verse 7. And it says, And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. You know, Gog and Magog being Russia, you know, that bear. Because they're going to be the ones to ultimately destroy America, you know, because Russia hates America. And ultimately, those are going to be the main two countries going to war once World War Three starts, you know. Russia and America are going to go to war, but America is going to lose this war, you know. Because America has never been touched by war. Is the book of Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. And yes, you know, America was, you know, once was the most powerful country in the world. You know, people, you know, pretty much coveted to come here until they found out, you know, that America pretty much wasn't what it, you know, what it, it's like you. America isn't what it used to be, you know. This country is trillions of dollars in debt, you know. Still has the nation of Israel in captivity, you know. And these other nations of people are pretty much coming here to make their money and take it back home because certain of these other nations know and understand that America, you know, is pretty much going to collapse, you know. I'm going to go back to the book of Revelation. And it's going to go to the book of Revelation chapter 17. And I'm going to I'm going to start at verse 13 as the book of Revelation chapter 17 and verse 13. <clears throat> These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. These shall make war with the lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them. For he is the Lord of lords and king of kings. And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth, are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire and yes <clears throat> they're gonna burn America with fire by way of those ICBM missiles you know the nuclear missiles you know because that's ultimately how America is going to go out, you know. Because Esau Edom, the so-called white man, came into power by way of, you know, the sword. By way of violence. And he's going to, you know, go out of power by way of violence. Because, you know, he didn't. Slack it. You know, he pretty much never worked anything out diplomatically, you know. 
he stole this land from the tribes of Reuben and Gad, you know, and nearly committed genocide, you know, because ultimately all the 12 tribes of Israel and Esau, Edom, they're brothers, you know, Jacob and Esau are brothers, but, you know, just roughly paraphrasing, you know, Jacob, you know, Esau, you know, pretty much vowed that he was going to slay his brother Jacob, you know, because Jacob supplanted Esau, you know, out of the blessing. So Esau doesn't have a blessing, you know, Jacob does. That's the reason why, you know, the Israelites, you know, after, you know, we get out of this current captivity in America, you know, we're going to inherit the kingdom of heaven, you know, starting with the elect once our Lord Yahweh Shai returns and establishes his kingdom on the earth, you know, that's what's going to take place. But that's how America is going to go out. This is the book of Job, chapter 20 and verse 24. And it says, he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bow of steel shall strike him through. And yes, that iron weapon and bow of steel is ICBM missiles, you know. America is going to be taken out by way of ICBM missiles, you know. And then I'm pretty much going to end it with this. There's the book of Revelation chapter 9 and verse 16. And it says the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. And I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and of jacinth, and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. By these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouth for their power is in their mouth and their tails for their tails were like unto serpents and had heads and with them they do hurt and yes you know that's pretty much describing you know those missiles you know because each ICBM missiles has multiple warheads, you know, because once those missiles are launched, you know, they're going to launch, you know, pretty much in the space, you know, out of the ozone layer, you know, out of the firmament, you know, they're going to, you know, calculate, you know, whichever specific target they're going to hit here in America, you know, whichever specific state or city. It's lucky whichever specific state or city, you know, that is targeted to hit. It's pretty much going to enter, re-enter, you know, the Earth's atmosphere, you know, on fire. Because those missiles are going to be traveling so fast, they're going to come back down on fire. And that's what it means, you know, when it says that they have heads of, you know, heads like lions, you know. Because one thing a male lion has is a mane, you know. And that's pretty much, you know, describing those missiles because they're going to come back down to the earth on fire because they're going to be traveling so fast, you know, and they're pretty much going to be an extremely bright light. And it says they had tails like serpent. That's pretty much, you know, the rocket, you know, propelling, you know, those missiles to get to whatever destination that it, that they're targeted to hit, you know. And those missiles are going to do damage, you know. Those missiles are going, you know, mainly are for, you know, Esau, you know, because he, you know, he dealt treacherously with the nation of Israel, you know, had us and still currently has us in captivity and, you know, refuses to let us go. But, you know, ultimately he won't let us go because the Lord is pretty much going to show his power again like he did in ancient Egypt, you know. 
to show Esau Edom that he isn't a god. He's a man, you know. So pretty much that's all I have, you know, just wanted to bring that article out. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakotash. I'd like to give the honor to the apostles and the artists of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. Until the next time, I say Shalom.